Hey, Mr. Parker here to review a new one from Severn Films. This is a 1983 film by Franco Pasperi, Wild Beast. Yeah, uh, Franco Pasperi was one half of the director team behind Mondo Cani, the shockumentary made in like 1963. It's been a long time since I've seen that one, but I remember it being very memorable and very shocking and uh, kind of full of bullshit at the same time. But uh, yeah, Wild Beast. Uh, this story basically follows uh, some uh, PCP has gotten in the animal at the zoo's water supply. Meanwhile, the new electronic technology technology uh, of gate mechanisms malfunction all the animals get out they run amok around the city what's really cool about this movie is there's really no uh, obviously made in 1983 all the animals are real all the stunts and stuff are real uh, it seems very dangerous and there's a lot of cool stuff they do with the animals uh, it is schlocky it is ridiculous it is cheesy and there's a lot of hand-fisted messages in there as well uh, something I've grown to absolutely adore about a lot of Italian films but also it, it incorporates that beautiful score and uh, sets up a lot of really elaborate cool death scenes which is something i've also grown to uh, always adored on uh, italian films but yeah uh wild beast has all these different animals uh running amok around the city and they set up all these different scenarios a cheetah chasing a car uh elephants on the uh the plane runway there's just lots of cool stuff in the film uh, a lot of cheesy dialogue in here as well and like i said the ham fisted messages are definitely there about drugs destroying the children and drugs you know uh being uh you know like destroying children and pollution destroying children and animals and all sorts of things and uh the technology malfunctioning taking people's jobs all these stuff are just uh, these a lot of afterthought and these not afterthought but just thrown in there uh but you know the, the the main meaning is in there with the drugs and the destroying everyone but yeah wild beast what can i say uh, like i said i, I enjoyed the hell out of it. It had, it had that lot of splatter and cheesy stuff that a lot of these Italian movies have. The special effects are really good. Uh, lots of gore and splatter, like I said. Uh, and lots of people being killed by different animals. Uh, there's a couple things in here that bothered me. Uh, it is 1983, so the animal safety is not the number one concern, especially when it comes to, like, rats and rodents. Uh, you'll see that kind of stuff happen at Cannibal Apocalypse and even American films like Food of the Gods. But here they set some on fire with a flamethrower. Uh, no doubt that those animals uh, did not survive that. Uh, little little, little disturbing, but again, like I said, it's 1983. Uh, the two leads in the movie, well, there's three, including Lorene DeSalle from uh, Cannibal Ferox and House on Edge of Park. Nice to see her in this one. But the two leads are basically a circus uh, kind of guy, uh, well, a, a pet wrangler and a cop. Uh, they both have kind of fun chemistry, even though they're very poorly dubbed. Uh, the cop uh, carries around a bag of popcorn, which leads to a lot of funny jokes. My favorite is uh, when the the animal wrangler says, man, that's the stuff the mice eat. And then he says, of mice and men. And he's just eating. It's, it's ridiculous dialogue like that that I really love. But, uh, yeah, the, the special features on here are actually really cool. There's an interview with the director. He goes into depth uh, about his career and a lot of stuff. Not in depth, but a lot of in depth about this movie and whatnot and his relationship with a lot of the other films and stuff, which is pretty cool. I do uh, think it's kind of funny that he talks about... Um, <laughs> The animals were fine. And then another actor comes on there and he's like, they fried the rats with a blowtorch. And the actor is also really candid and seems a little bit more honest. I have a hard time believing the director of Mondo County when he says anything, but he's a very interesting guy uh, nonetheless. The editor interview is probably the most interesting because he goes in depth about his whole career and you get a glimpse of what it was like to work in the industry at the time in Italy. Um, you know, that's invaluable information, especially nowadays when there's all those people are dying and there's just no real uh, film industry in Italy. So it was really cool to see that kind of stuff. He actually shows the old editing board he worked on, which is really cool. So uh, there's, there's lots of nice features on here. Like I said, it's a really cool release. It fills in this void of Italian horror films that I didn't actually see. There's a couple that I know I've been wanting to see for years, and this is one of them, right? And 1983 is a perfect time. You know, it, it feels kind of like something like Hell of the Living Dead, but just a little bit more competent than Hell of the Living Dead or Rats, Nights of Terror. But it definitely has that cheesy kind of flair to it, but also like really beautiful filming techniques and, uh, you know, how they make film. They just do a great job all the time. You know, some of the stuff doesn't translate, like the dubbing's off and a lot of cheesy dialogue and ham-fisted stuff, but regardless, I love seeing all the uh, animal uh, stunts and things and seeing all live animals in movies like that. It's actually one of the coolest animal attacks movies I've ever seen uh, just because it mixes all the animals, even if the plot is completely batshit crazy. I, I can dig it. I like that kind of stuff, but I, I bravo, uh, Severin. Really great putting this one out and a really cool release. Looks damn good. You can watch it in Italian or English with English subtitles. But uh, I'm Mr. Parker. Thank you very much for watching and have a good one. in the cat area. Oh, Christ!